is making Kaiser rolls. These rolls have been shaped and let to rest for 10 minutes. After the bulk rise, it, the dough is divided into approximately three ounce portions. So what I'm going to do now is form these. And as in so many processes with bread baking, surface tension is very important in order to get a proper rise. Now you can see this is pretty simple operation. I'm just folding it in upon itself and you can see the surface tension building on the top of the dough. We'll just do these four. Just a couple of folds so there are no seams. See these seams here? You don't want those. You can already see the dough is starting to rise. It's got bubbles in it. Now, again, and again, and again. It's not terribly important to be absolutely perfect with these, although it helps. Again, and again, and give it a little bit of a roll. Now, as I said, these rolls have rested, and what I'm going to do now is mark them with a Kaiser stamp. You'll find a source for this in the Books and Resources section uh, on the Forno Bravo forum. What you want to do is you want to push down, but you don't want to push all the way through the dough, just about to the bottom. If you push all the way, all the way through, the rolls will divide as they bake into petals, and that you don't want. Now, once these are, these are done, what you do is you take them gently and you put them upside down on a prepared sheet that has been sprayed with spray oil and dusted in this case with extremely coarse stone ground cornmeal. This gives a nice crunch on the bottom when they're finished. So there we have the first six done. These will be turned over after 45 minutes and given their second rise, then topped and baked for approximately 10 minutes in a 500, on a 500 to 550 degree hearth.